Welcome to another edition of Fitness Culture Lifting Thing here in our gym in St. George, Utah. Today, it's a shoulder day. So if you've been following along all week, we've been hitting different body parts. We're on phase two of the SWOL program, all about time under tension. Shoulder training today is gonna, not gonna be any different. It's gonna probably be the roughest shoulder day you've ever had. And we're gonna start off with a superset. We're jumping right into it with a push press that Jake's gonna talk about here with a banded pull apart. First thing we got today, like Steve said, is gonna be a push press. So we're gonna be controlling the eccentric on the push press for four count on the negative. So it's a lot of time under tension. It's definitely gonna blow us up. We're gonna be using our strict overhead press max and we're gonna be using a percentage of that today. So really, this is one of my favorite progressions to increase your overhead press because overhead press is one lift that you can safely kind of use your body with the push press, use your legs, explode through your hips to help get that weight up and you're really overloading the eccentric on the way down. So that's the goal today, we're gonna overload. We're gonna be using a weight that we definitely wouldn't be able to get the weight this many reps with this tempo, just with the strict press, right? So we have to use our legs, explode up with your legs and then control it back down. And then right, we're done with that, we'll hop on some band pull aparts. We've got 12 band pull aparts and we'll rest for about two to three minutes in between the superset. Knuckle the form bring down when it gets heavy. Just remember somewhere, Jake is warming up with your max. That should really motivate you to lift harder. Our next superset for shoulder days is a neutral grip dumbbell press. So we're doing them seated with dumbbells. Three seconds eccentric, come up a quarter, one, two, two count, and then back up to the top. So like I said, a lot of time under tension, three seconds down, two second hold, and then boom using that reflex to get back up to the top. And then we're supersetting that with a WY press. It's one of the ones that just kicks my ass every time I do it. A lot of rear delt, a lot of trap involved in that. So after Jake has done eight reps, we have three sets of eight reps here. We're gonna be hopping over here and doing 10 reps, three sets of 10 on the YW press. The W to Y press. This is a great one for your upper back and your external rotators. So what you're gonna do, see we'll start with his hands out, row his elbows up straight out, come into a W. Try to get his hands past his ears and then keep him that high on the way out. Try to lock his elbows all the way out, squeeze it for a second at the top and then come back down. I'm not great at these. The mobility is gonna be a huge factor on these ones. I don't want to use that much weight. Honestly, if you have bad mobility on this one, you might not even want to use any weight at all and just really work on the movement, work on getting really good external rotation and then keeping it behind your ear as you lock it out. Um, it's really just, it's more like a prehab movement, right? So all this pressing that we do all the time, you tend to get tight in your lats, in your pec, it's gonna pull your shoulder forward. So we always like to pair these kind of movements if we're pressing and we're not doing any extra back work that day. It's just a good way to get in some stuff that's gonna keep you structurally balanced during the week and it's not really gonna take away from the lift that day. So this isn't gonna burn you out too much. 
hop back on the neutral grip and really we're just trying to keep that shoulder girdle in balance. Hot damn! I couldn't have said that better myself. It's kind of what separates us from every other programming company out there. We got a Hulk. All right, the next thing we got today is gonna be just a barbell upright row. We're gonna go a little bit wider today. Still control the eccentric for a three to four count. And then we're gonna superset that with a seated lateral raise. So just sitting down, we'll raise it up to the side, three to four count lower on that as well. So we'll go back to back and then rest for 90 seconds and roll through that three times. Wrapping today up, we got three different movements. We're gonna be doing an incline uh, rear delt raise, just like this on an incline bench. So we're still gonna go three to four count lower on everything right now. Well, not on the not on the dumbbell truck. So incline rear delt raise. Then we're gonna do a cable lateral raise just behind the back, uh, and then we're gonna finish it up with some shrugs. So the shrugs today we're gonna be doing just a ten count, ten count squeeze, ten reps, ten count squeeze at the top, and then ten reps. So we'll go through all three movements, rest for ninety seconds, and we're gonna go through that three times to finish it up. Guys, that wraps it up for day four in Swole Program Part Two. So remember, there's a link in the description if you want to download a copy of this entire week and follow along with the program. You'll be able to follow all the videos just like this one, um, just so it's kind of like a little exercise library so you can use it in the gym. So click that link, download the program. If you guys like this content, please leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. <laughs>